Well, here we are a few days later, and um, it's got to be about three or four days now. I haven't really done much with the pool, but today it's time to open the filter. But after putting the shock in the other day, especially by the steps, this used to be a dark, dark green, and it already has lightened considerably. And although you cannot directly see the bottom, uh, it's not too bad. It's, it's getting there. You can see down a bit. It's not as black as it was. So we're going to go ahead and open the filter and hopefully that can filter out some of the uh, crap that's in here. Now I had recently replaced the filter grids inside of this filter and I have not tested it since. So we may be in for a surprise. Hopefully not. But it's very simple to get your filter operational. Just make sure you have everything closed. The bung at the bottom of the tank is closed. The air valve at the top is closed. We're going to open that momentarily. And you also want to have your DE ready at the skimmer to put in because as soon as you get this filter up and running, you need to put the DE in ASAP. So I have that ready by the skimmer to go. So what we do is shut the pool off and then we're going to move the handle over the filtration. Shut that off. We're going to go over to filtration, just like that, and turn it back on. So we're going to turn it back on and watch the gauge. Now this is going to take a moment just to recatch prime. And because this filter is empty, it's going to be a moment or so before we start seeing anything on here. pumping now. We have a little pressure reading, but the filter has got to fill up. I'm going to go ahead and open the air vent. And when water comes out, the filter is full. Make a note of that pressure. If you have a little adjustment, you can put it there just like that. Now we'll go put the DE in. Now how do you know how much DE to put in your pool and your filter? Well, that depends on the filter itself. Somewhere on it is a model number. And if you go to the manufacturer's website, you should be able to find an instruction booklet on how much DE you are to add to the filter. This one was a bit confusing. You see this has all the model numbers right there, but none of them are checked off. So really the best thing I did is I took some pictures and some measurements, and I spoke to a local pool guy and he told me that I likely have the 4820. That means there's 48 square feet of filtering space in the filter. And with that, you simply round it off. If you have the 36, you would round that up to four. If you have the 24, uh, two and a half, maybe three. And of course, on from there, depending on the size that you have. So that's how I found out what this filter was and how much DE to put in. So that's why I put in five scoops. I'm going to pull the filter basket because that's got all kinds of junk in it. It's been filtering out. I'm going to put in five scoops. Put in one and you'll see it'll go down just like that. And then when that's gone then you can go ahead and put in your next one. There's the second one. Wait for that to go down. Now we'll put in a third. Wait for that to go down. And the fourth. And the fifth. off what's here. There's no rush anymore now that you have the DE in. If you want to take the garden hose and spray it down, you can do that, you know, whatever makes you happy with that. 
you have a deck around it or something like that. So that's all good. Everything in there is nice and clear. Just get whatever residual DE and replace the filter basket. I'm just going to shake mine out real quick. I need to spray it out with the hose because it's quite clogged, but it'll do the trick for now. Put that in and cover it back up. Of course, because nothing ever goes right, the seal on the filter is leaking, as you can see. Every now and again, there's a drip that goes right over here. There it is. A couple of drops here and there. It may not be tight enough. The seal may be worn. I don't know. The replacement seal is about $30 or $35. But considering the pump is leaking pretty good, I'm not really that concerned about it at the moment. Uh, until I get the uh, pool guys here to figure out if they can replace those fittings that are cracked. And then I can get the pump serviced and then we can work on this leak. So for right now, that's not even a big concern. Now you want to make sure that you check your filter. Really, once you open the pool, you want to check it every day, sometimes even after about 12 hours. Because it may, you may find that the needle on the gauge has risen considerably and it would be time to backwash. So that's going to be the next part of this video series. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more.